when I was a kid, my lower middle class home got rammed by the freeway. We had to move. I have never forgotten where I came from, and I have fought and fight the rest of my life for the 99%. This is so wonderful what's going on here. It reminds me of when I was a young man and I, I, I went uh, worked at, uh, in the moratorium in Washington against the Vietnam War, and then we were working for George McGovern in New Hampshire when he ran for president. And in a way, I think uh, this country's going to in, embrace it more than they did in Vietnam because there was a real divide now, but I think this is not about whether patriotism or not, it's about uh, basic fairness and people know, even if they're sort of conservative in nature, that they're getting screwed. This is today's New York Times. In private, Wall Street bankers dismiss protesters as unsophisticated. Okay. Um, you know what? The unsophisticated hippies actually stopped the Vietnam War. We put a monkey wrench in the, the military industrial complex. So you may write us off as hippies, but let me tell you, you're gonna hear from us. You know, my joke is I want one of these jobs where I run a company and I lose billions of dollars and they gotta pay me $50 million to leave. Because I can do that. <laughs> yeah, right? Anybody right? can do that, right? So there's like, once you're at the top, it seems it doesn't matter what you do, you get rewarded once you're in the club. Money is like fertilizer. When hoarded, it stinks. <laughs> when spread around, stuff grows. Michael Mead, a wonderful mythologist writer, said that the word currency comes from the word current. It's supposed to be flowing, folks. And it's dammed up by these corporate beavers and um, <laughs> these hippies are gonna bust the rocks. I love you guys. We're, we're all on the same road, and whether it's a dirt road or a freeway, from the cradle to the grave, let's love each other.